Greetings, fellow tarnished. It is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Elden Ring. I am picking up where I left off almost immediately, because my computer's being surprisingly stable, and I have the time to do so right now, so I will, uh, take advantage of that. Let's talk to Patches. Well, first, last episode, we, we, we uh, explored more of the, uh, Altus Plateau region, found a direct road that seems to lead to Lanedell and the Erd Tree itself. We talked to Millicent, who, yeah, she was standing, she's still there, so I reckon she'll move at some point. And, um, yeah, we got invited to the Volcano Manor. We discovered that Raya is a snake, um, that Praetor Rikard is somewhere deep in the Volcano Manor, somewhere that he has been devoured by a serpent and has merged with the serpent. I don't know. And then we need to kill him. Praetor Rikard, by the way, uh, right after we talk to Patches, we're gonna go and get some more information on him because I know exactly who has mentioned him. Well, you joined the manor, huh? I don't believe it. Didn't think you had it in you. And here I thought Raya was barking up the wrong tree. Okay. All good though. We're on the same side now. <laughs> That's we'll great. Do good work together. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Oh, and of course, we can do business if you like. I wonder if his stock has increased. Emporium at the Volcano Manor, especially for you. About patches. Are you surprised that I belong to the Volcano Manor? Not really. I always hated the gibberish about lost grace and the laughable two fingers. I'm with you. I thought I could lend a hand in unmasking the charade. Not to mention, Tanith has always made me curious. I guess her master must really be something, because she's pretty damn smug about it. Hmm. Even after announcing her blasphemous ambitions, she still stands proud. I've never seen a woman quite like her. Interesting. He does not sell anything new, to my knowledge. Shame. Maybe he'll sell new things other time. Okay. The other thing that I wanted to do before we check that out is actually return to the Table of Lost Grace. So I know there's a quicker way to do it, but I honestly am not sure what's quicker at this point because we have to scroll through a bunch of things otherwise. Uh, okay. For a second it looked like everyone was gone, but they were not. Um, well, now that we've reached Lanedell... I wonder if you're going to say something new, and I also feel like... Journey to the capital, I, and oh no, we haven't reached Lanedell. You may be. Okay, Rikard. This is why we're here. Praetor Rikard is the lord of the volcano okay. manor on That must Gaudia. be Tanit's master. He is a ruthless justicia who commands a company of inquisitors. Oh. Reviled for his serpentine demeanor. Oh. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, lies in the west of the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. It was the stage of the most appalling battle in the entirety of the Shattering. Rikard has committed the grave sin of blasphemy, marking himself as an enemy never to be forgiven. Yeah, about that. Also, do you say anything General new about... Adan, no. Man by my... Okay. Okay. Mm. What? What? Hold on. Topes is bell bearing. Yeah, let's give her that. Uh, excuse me. What's going on here? I'm gonna buy another one of these. I'm gonna buy two of these actually. Um, that door's open, and that is interesting. the fuck are you? Not what I wanted to do, but fine. Oh, I recognize you. You are the loathsome dung eater. Yep, he's even got like stinky sparks flying around him. And you're surrounded by corpses. Rotten corpses that look like they've been at least partially eaten. Interesting, he's not 
aggressive. First off, can I attack in here? I still can't attack in here. Very strange. Have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being, the pox upon life itself, feared and despised by all. The reviled blessing. <laughs> Apparently not. No, but I guess you have. You're but a lamb. A stranger to defilement. Ignorant of your own ignorance. <laughs> you no longer interest me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. Okay. You, if I talk to him again, will he attack me? I asked you not to disturb okay, me. Okay, okay, okay. Be thankful of the whole serenity. It is all that keeps your death and defilement at bay. Okay. Calm down. No need to no need to use big words like that. Mate. What the fuck's he doing here? Gideon! Journey to the cap of the two fingers. Why'd you let him in? Be our best. So you don't say anything about him. Is anybody else gonna say anything about him? We have this filthy, loathsome dung eater sitting here. Ah, I've decided oh. to leave the round table okay. hold after all. As I mentioned, I'm off in search of the noble gold mask. We may not meet again for some time. If there's any incantations you wish to learn, now's the moment. Well, I mean... Since I've got the stats for them. I mean... Why not? Since we're not going to see him again. <laughs> May the golden order shine through you. Give him some uh, pretty pennies before he goes off on his way. Anything up here? Any people down there? No. No. Interesting how new people seem to be getting added to this place. It's very cool, actually. Greetings, Hello. Yes. Oh, there's something you should know. What, what? I need to warn you about something. Oh. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. Yeah, I've seen him. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I can't even imagine. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the grafting caused anything like this to happen. You Boy. should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. He's fucked up. I can hear it from across the wing, past the round table. The howling and wailing of spirit. You should keep your distance. Okay. You, you stay the fuck away from him. And if anything happens, you let me know. I'll, 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 I'll kill him dead. Well, where have you been hiding? Hey. I took you oh. for dead. I thought we were going to finally... Out, you're out. thought we were going to finally have him say something that wasn't like, I took you for dead. But, uh, alas. Um, we probably should upgrade the God Slayer seal. I still want to find a different seal, though. But, eh, fuck it. I mean, what else are we going to do with all this stuff? Okay. Hmm, I should sell things. Because I do kind of want to upgrade this. More. Boost our incantations. Oh, there we go. We are at a Godslayer seal plus 16. I think that should, uh, that should cut it. Uh, since when were you open? Oh, because this is where Fia murdered D. Right. Well, somebody's cleaned up the bodies. So that's nice. It was probably the dung eater. I'm pretty sure he probably ate D's corpse, regardless of the corruption that was growing out of it. Um, and no sign of Fia, to be expected. Okay. Well, that's everything here. Now, there's one other thing that I've been tipped off to that I missed, and is wrong place. Totally the wrong place. Uh, it was something that I missed. Um, 
Ah, I cannot get there. Not, not that way anyways. Okay, well, I know how to get there. There was a thing that... Um, I need to come back to the Chapel of Anticipation for. Because it's for a storyline that is otherwise not going to progress. And I want to do that before we go out and do anything else. Before I get too far into... It's the, uh, that's the night sky on ceasing. Can't remember which one's the Chapel of Anticipation. It was probably this one, then. Precipice of Anticipation. There we go. Let's, let's get back to there. Um, I need to look for something here. I was told, um, uh, by a friend of mine that there is something I'm missing here that connects to a storyline that, uh, still needs to be finished. So, we shall search around this place and look and see if there's anything we missed. All right? I'm sure there was. From the sound of it, it's... It seemed like it's not something that you can then find, like, at the beginning of the game. So maybe something's actually changed here after coming back. So I guess you are supposed to be able to find it after you do come back and kill this thing? I don't know. I have an idea. So I, I have no idea. I wasn't told, like, where it is or anything. Just that... Something was here. Back around this place? Maybe? Pretty sure I looked back here. At the start of the playthrough. Oh, okay. Down? No. Doesn't look like it. Invisible wall? You look like an invisible wall. But you're not. here? No, right? No. Okay. Um. Well, then I hope it's in here. Or back here? You an invisible wall? No. Was there something here? I don't think that's a place you can jump down to. Dead Finger Maiden. We know what this is now. Yeah, I duly wonder if this is Finger Maiden Theralina, who was supposed to be waiting for us, who got murdered by... Uh, Celevis? So we found her puppet with Celevis. Honestly, don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. Um. Right? Like. Oh! Oh! Hello. That wasn't open last time. And indeed, here is something the Stormhawk King. Excuse me? I didn't even look at what type of item this is. It looked like an ash. Okay, it's not an ash. Is it an ash of war? Also not an ash of war. Must be a key item? Indeed it is. Ashes of a hawk, which heeds no summons. Ashes of a hawk revered by all others as sovereign back in days when Stormvale's winds still raged like no other. This ancient monarch is proud, however, refusing to answer anyone's summons. Okay. That seems important, that we're gonna have to find who... ...might, um... ...who might be looking for it. And we get ourselves an actual Stormhawk summon. That's cool. 
different one because we have just the Warhawk ashes. And now this is a legendary one. Cool. Ashen remains uh, used to summon Dean the Stormhawk. Um, the sp spirit of a fierce hawk that faithfully rendered lifelong service to the old king of Stormvale long ago when the true storm raged. Its cries emboldened its fellows in battle, and the tempestuous winds that encircle it shred through foes. Sounds fucking cool. Who... Who, uh... Who would that be associated with? Somebody with Stormvale? It's like... There's Gostock here. Sneaky bastard. Um, he stalks you, by the way. While you're going through Stormvale Castle. And, um... You still stomping on Godric. You, you get tired ever? Now, okay. I can, can I? Nothing, nothing to be said for you. Um, I'm still there. Weird. It's in two places. Very. Wait. What? No. Okay. Sorry. That's the site of grace called Margaret the Fell Omen. I thought Margaret had just shown up again. Who else is associated with Stormvale Castle? All I can think of, because we met Roger Nefeli, Nefeli Lou, and that is indeed a storyline that doesn't seem to be going anywhere at the current state. So maybe I need to give these hawk ashes to Nefeli Lou. Wouldn't that be interesting? I'm not going to talk to Gideon first because he's a dick. I'm just gonna no, that's to Gideon. I always get this wrong every single fucking time. I go the wrong way. <laughs> just cannot orient myself here. All right. Nefeli, you've been depressed for a long time. Hopefully, maybe this 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 burb will cheer you up. No, no, no. no. How could I say that? Father has all we know. Aha! Yes. Is that ash? I can smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. Okay. Now what? I'm not like Broderica. I don't feel the presence of spirits, let alone see them. Still, this ash, it reminds me of my first hawk. You had a hawk. Thank you. In this ash, I can smell the ancient storm. It reminds me of my first hawk. Okay. Cool. Um, let's reset the area. Didn't look around. Um... Yeah, let's reset the area. See if she's still there. <laughs> I tell you every single time, I'm not joking. All right? <laughs> still there in this ash it okay. reminds me of uh, I guess maybe we need to talk to Gideon be like you're a shit father you were a shit father figure you basically used her as a soldier and then when she disagreed with her with you you abandoned her you're a bit of a dickhead pal journey to the capital all right fuck you all right let's let's move on with uh move on with our story huh it's uh yeah, Knight Dialos should be back. Let's go find him. It says he's here. I didn't see him last time. But okay, that's cool. Um, we have at least moved her story on. I was getting kind of concerned that she would just remain depressed for the rest of... Ah, oh, you're back. You're back to being... A human. My serpentine form were secrets. Okay. Now I share you don't these. say anything else. That's fine. I have. I'm not going to sh share your secrets with anyone. Oh, Diallos is here. Okay, cool. He doesn't look too happy. Ah, oh, it's you, is it? I'm terribly sorry. But would you mind giving? I haven't achieved anything at all thus far. Even though I've dirtied my hands time and time again, mm. I'm still yet to achieve anything. Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. 
As things stand, I've given up on the path of revenge and sullied the name of my house. What an easy mark I must have been. How did it take me so long to realize, honestly? There's just no end to my foolishness, is there? Dude, you'll find your way. Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. As things stand, I've given what an easy mark. I'm yeah, okay. He's going down a dark path. I don't think there's much we can do about it. This guy's gone. Interesting. There's still the one door that remains. It's this one where there's no one inside. You open now? Still blocked shut. Hey, okay. um, like, how do we find this Praetor Rikard guy? Do we listen for slithering in the walls and, like, hit the wall? No, we can't attack here. What about here? We can't attack here. So maybe we need to listen to wall slithering? If we hear any, it's probably... Like, I feel like the fire is gonna... Um... Blot it out, basically. But what about... This? This is just the balcony that looks down onto... Yeah. Hmm. I don't really know what else, then. Alright. Well, we'll go outside. Maybe there's like a cave. Under the volcano manor. Sorry for the dilly-dallying, but I want to make sure that we're not missing too much. Inevitably, we'll miss some things, but... This door? Cannot be opened from this side. Okay. Then we shall exit and face whatever the fuck this thing is. I think it's just a troll. There's marionettes. Which is interesting. Why are there marionettes here? Oh, shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, we one-shot them, so that's nice. Oh, hi. I see you there. Don't think that... Oh, God. Okay, never mind. It's, it is just a troll. It looked like... It does have tentacles. That's... Oh! Oh! Oh my god! It is a frenzy troll! What are you doing here? What's this place's association with the frenzy? What the fuck? Now I'm real confused. I'm very confused. It looked like it would. Like, it seems like it was guarding this place. Holy shit. Very cool ambience. All the crows. Ooh. That load of sacramental bud. And volcano stones. That's new. I haven't seen that before. Um. Where might we find that? Is that going to be... Yeah, under rocks, right? Volcanic stone. Found on Mount Gelmir. A smoldering rock containing hot gas. Material used for crafting item. Found on Mount Gelmir. Okay, well... So this is Mount Gelmir. This isn't Altus anymore. Should we go back to Altus? Like, now I feel like I'm just skipping Altus. What is this? Summoning sign. Read message. I thought this a mountain... Wait, what? I thought this a mountain of fire, but I hardly feel a thing. I'll have to head further down. Alexander, is that you? This isn't like a... And I'm supposed to drop down to here. Hey, that's the map. All right, we're going to... We're just going to get the map for this place. What the fuck is that? those pillars. What are they? Very weird. Cool place, though. Really cool. Creepy ambience. The ashen skies. Um, these giant rock formations. That was, that was well done. There we go. Oh, hello. How are you guys doing? Hmm. A 
Another Erdtree sapling. You know, it kind of makes sense that there's more of them here, because we are closer to the Erdtree. Oops. You finally gonna drop your weapon or something? I, I would really like it. Oh, okay. Just cuckoo glintstones, huh? And we have ourselves a scarab. An invisible scarab, which is interesting. And more of this. Okay. Uh, there was a bit of a kerfuffle with the recording. I think it's fine, though. All right. Um, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Look at you. I have a potential solution for how to deal with you guys. Oh, hi. What? No. I, I, oh, shit. I need to equip the, uh, the seal. Otherwise, this ain't gonna work at all. Get him? We got him. Ashavor, through and through. Let us look at that. Through and through. Um... Seemed like just a normal one, but apparently not. Here it is. Is it a missile one? Well, with great bows. Through and through, powerful archery skill using a great bow. Held in an oblique stance. Ready the great bow, then twist the bowstring to fire a mighty great arrow that can penetrate through enemies. Uh, okay. That would be good if I used great bows, which I don't. All right, one golden seed. We need five more, or four more, sorry. We'll, uh, we'll get there eventually. I'm sure. Uh, what are you? You're... What? What are you doing here? Oh, no. Oh, Wislow, you were right. You were right, weren't you? Where there's one, there's more. Where there's small ones, there's big ones. Uh, no. No. There's gonna be a giant one, isn't there? Holy shit. They just come out of the ground in hordes. Oh, for fuck's sake. I hate it. I know fire is good against them, but I... I can I, like, hit them or something? This... This is an unfortunate place to fight them, I will say. Okay, we do pretty good damage. Yeah, solid. Ugh. Horrible. They drop somber smithing stones four. That's pretty good. Yeah, I see you. Don't think that I don't. God, disgusting. Hideous. I hate them. Uh, excuse me? These ones are different looking. They look thinner. Do they? Or am I just... Ugh. Ugh. Don't, please don't bug. You're worse. You're bad enough as is. Fuck's sake. We'll kill them all. I hate them. Keep an eye out for uh, things poking up out of the ground. God. we got here? Well, hands hanging from the walls. Any, any giant ones up above us? No. There's little ones that are... Oh. Yeah, they're thinner. Right? These are slightly different from the other ones. I have one solution for all of you. That didn't do much. Die. In fire. This is quicker. Dragon wound grease. There's the there's the map. Delay. More uh, volcanic stone. I'm guessing he respawns, but maybe not. I don't know. Any uh, big old hands gonna grab us when we get near the edge? Any uh, big old hands hanging from the sides anywhere? That's the Volcano Manor. It's fucking huge. What was that? Oh, Volcano Stone. More Volcano Stone. All kinds of Volcano Stone. 
Yep. I fucking knew it. Oh, God. I hate it. So much. Please die. Ugh. Ugh. Mount Gelmere. Huh. So this whole area that we were in was actually part of Mount Gelmere rather than the uh weird it's a cave entrance there some sort of poison castle there's more land up here man this map map is fucking enormous excuse me something died okay we have a uh, side of grace right here let's grab that and then we shall descend from mount gelmir like overall Cool area. Don't like the hands, but you know what can you do? Oh man, I'm expecting anything to just like drop down at some point. I have an idea. Um, since we're not using this at the moment, I will make sure that we have both of our options ready. I want to actually level up our femur Trisha. It sounds kind of cool to use her. Um, also, should we make anything? I don't want to waste my golden centipedes yet. Rot pots are probably really good. But they need Aeonian butterflies. Red main fire pots are probably also good. What are, what are rot pots? They don't scale with anything. I'm going to make some of... No, I can't make many of them, so I'm not going to just yet. Uh, tell you what, I'm gonna make four of these, the uplifting aromatics, because they're a really good defensive item, uh, if they give bubble shields that absorb a shit ton of damage, um, I definitely want to carry a few of them on me. They probably don't absorb that much damage as the enemies were, um, but if I use the, um, perfumer, um, talisman, I bet they will. Yeah, that was not great. Not great at all. What do you hear? Me? Yes. Good. Excellent. Can we fucking hit something at some point? Maybe? I don't know. Just, just, just one. Just hit one. We get staggered so fucking easily. Okay, you drop something. Bolts. Great. Just what I need. Die. You guys give me way more trouble than you should have. Uh, let's get these sacramental buds. Maybe we can combine all of the sacramental buds and roll ourselves a nice sacramental joint. And get high to the gods. Sorry, I don't. I, I don't promote that type of behavior. I'm certainly not promoting it on my channel. Nah, to each their own. Um, what do we got? Oh, it's these fucking incendiary uh, corpses again. Great, fantastic. Oh boy. What? 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 What the fuck? What the actual fuck are you? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's death blight. What the fuck is it? It's horrifying. And I ain't getting near it. It's spitting at me though. So, fighting it from a distance is not a, uh,. Ooh, we're, we're close to being dead. The noises it's making. Ugh. It's hideous. Okay. Hit and run. Now dismount, and we're gonna... Oh god, no. Don't dismount. Maybe... What? How do you fight this thing? Holy damage is good. Just kill it. Just have to... What the fuck was that? Where did it even come from? It was a mimic. Oh my god, it was guised as the, um... It was guised as the incendiary corpse. Jesus Christ! 
we gonna encounter more of those? We're gonna find out what they are? I am deeply fascinated and horrified at the same time. That that looked scary as hell. That is a Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. We Yeah. That's what I thought. That is a dead herd tree. The fuck happened here? Is that why we encountered this death creature? Because the herd tree here is dead? I mean, there's a lot of death here, let's be real. Interesting, different types of rock here. Is it rock, actually? Or is it root? I feel like it's... Something's happening. I'm out of here. What was that? Something's casting a shadow. Oh. Ulcerated tree spirit. Makes sense. Um... Where do I summon her? Right here, I think. It's gonna do just fine. Alright, Latena. It's been a little while, and I apologize for that, but we have a thing to hunt. Black Flame, by the way, is very effective against these, so we're gonna... We're gonna give it the good old Black Flame business. Okay. Very effective, but still not... I mean, that was, that was all right. Yeah, that's pretty all right. All right, another one. Good. Good damage. We need to uh, heal up, or not heal up, but juice up, we shall say. Get another one. Nice, it's on fire. It's exploding. Oh my god. Get out of here, now. Run. We are, we are in the danger zone. Very cool find one of these near the dead one. Makes total sense, actually. Oh, boy. Okay, okay, okay. You can keep up with me pretty well, but it should you should be dead now. There we go. That's that. What do you drop? Wasn't a, wasn't a boss. It was just a... Yeah, okay. Leaden Hard Tier and the Cerulean Hidden Tier. Okay. Both of these are new. Temporarily boosts poison mixed physic. Crystal tear forms slowly over the ages where the earth tree's bounty falls to the ground. Um, okay. Poise boosting is good, though. That's really cool. Um, and then the cerulean hidden tear. Um, crystal tear, yeah, says the same thing. Can be mixed in the flask of wondrous physic. The resulting concoction eliminates all FP consumption. However, this effect is brief and will expire quickly. That's really good. If I'm about to spam um, Mikella's Ring of Light, for example, because that goes off really fast. I don't think it'll be great for the incantations, especially if you plan on charging them, unless there's a really fast casting incantation. But, like, that with the Ring of Light, that's going to be effective. Really cool. Um, what else we got? Anything, uh, it's down there. There's something down there. Yeah, oh, you can totally get down there. Question is how? Ah, oh, remember how I said I thought that rock was, might be root? Well, actually, no, I don't think it is root, but it's growing on the roots. Golden arrows. We found these already? I feel like we've already found some of these. No, we have not. Carved arrows made in tandem with the Erd Tree bow deals holy damage. Highly effective against those who live in death and able to prevent them from rising again. We found golden great arrows before. Okay. All right. Hello, marionettes. How are you guys doing? I have come to end your existence. Hope you don't mind. You probably don't, because you're marionettes. I don't think you guys are sentient or conscious. Or aware in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so we can definitely drop down onto that. Question is, do I want to just yet? Or are there other things to do here? 
search around the back of the Erd tree. The Erd tree stump. I really wonder what killed this thing. Like, it it looks like it was straight up ripped off. Which is concerning. Yeah, no, no way further to go here, so... Unless there's a cave or something along the sides. But I don't see anything, so... We are going to drop down. Oh, there is an item here, so let's grab that. Fostering fire grease. It's all right. Any way to drop down from here? Nope. Okay. Um, quickly look at these statues. Okay, they're not the Nox statues. Which would make sense. I, I, I couldn't... If, if they had Nox statues here, I would be very puzzled. Okay. Down we go. Where next? What next? Stone Sword Key. Alright. Okay, we've got ourselves a, uh, a Daug. Not a Mimic Tear Daug. Turning into another one of these horrid death monstrosities. Whatever the fuck they are. What is this? It's a shack. Okay, we're being invaded. Let's get ready. Anastasia! Tarnished Eater. We fought her before. Interesting. Okay. Nice hit. You got me there. Ooh. And dodgy. I need to fight her more manually. Though, admittedly, there's things we can do here. Let's, uh... Let's give you this. Here, have some, uh... Have some Scarlet Rot. Yeah, you're not happy about that, are you? And you're dead. Cool. Attempt number two, and we get the Sacred Butchering Knife. Which I think is a little bit large for a knife. Just want to say. I don't think this quite qualifies. Yeah, it's a it's a great axe. <laughs> Huge carving knife made to cleanly butcher the human body. Signature weapon of Ogress Anastasia, known to have eaten countless tarnished while disguised as a finger maiden. <laughs> okay, that explains the finger maiden attire. Restores a very small amount of HP when it squarely strikes an enemy. That's cool. So that's our uh, man-eater Mildred for this game. Every Dark Souls game has one. The the Butcher Woman. <laughs> yeah, we got Golden Vow. I think we... Did we not already have Golden Vow? I feel like we've gotten all kinds of different vows. So. Oh, this is Golden Vow. Interesting. An incantation of Erd Tree Worship. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, not, we're not all about that. Um... Increases attack power and defense for the caster and nearby allies. Hold to continue praying and delaying activation. This incantation has been taught to knights of the royal capital for generations, and knights sent on distant expeditions lean on it as a source of courage. It's probably pretty good. Now, one thing to note. There's actually there's a bit of interesting... Not lore, but implications for how... There, these incantations are arranged. So the first incantations are very much associated with the Tarnished, right? These are just the very basic ones that I think all of, um, people that do incantations can learn. These here are specifically associated with the Erd Tree and the Golden Order and the Crucible, linking the Erd Tree, the Golden Order, and the Crucible together, um, which implies that the Crucible Knight serving at Tanith's side is a traitor. Because I don't think the Crucible Knights... That the Crucible is, like, opposed to the Erd Tree, right? We have these two, they're associated with the dragons. We have these two, which are this group here, which is associated with the fire giants. And then down here, we have the Black Flame stuff, which I believe is... No, the Black Flame and Bestial. Interesting. The Black Flame stuff is associated with Godskin Apostles. The Bestial stuff is associated with Garank. I wonder if they have a similar connection to death. We feed death roots to Garank, right? I don't know. And then there's this stuff, which 
I don't know. It doesn't seem to have... Oh, this is Lord of Blood associated, and this is Servants of Rot associated. And then, of course, there's Madness here and the Draconic ones down here. So that is something to keep in mind. And the same can be also um, said for the sorceries and how they're arranged. And I think also the Ashes of War. Now, the weapons are all arranged, obviously, per weapon type, so that's not going to be relevant there, but... Lots of Sacramental Buds. I, I wonder if they actually respawn here. What do we got going on? More dogs? Hey, that's a that's a rot dog, isn't it? Well, it's dead now. Got any more? No. No. Okay. Ah, Iron Virgin. Okay, Arteria leaves. Good, we need those now. Oh shit, lots of Iron Virgins. But the first time we actually get to fight one while mounted. That's cool. I think they're gonna be a bit easier to fight while mounted, maybe. At least we won't get grabbed. Like, that wasn't too bad. Worth 2,000 runes. Shit. What are they doing here? So the Inquisitors, by the way, were sent... Or that Inquisitor that came for me was sent by Rikard, who also created these fucking things. Oh, God. Who created these things. Rikard is a bit messed up. That much we know. He's associated with the Volcano Manor. It seems like he was their leader at one point, but not anymore. Or maybe he still is. I have no idea. And that some of them disagree with him. Oh, you guys can hurt yourselves? That's, that's funny. Or you can hurt each other, I should say. Let's kill that one. Grab this item. Explosive Great Bolt. Interesting. Yeah, these guys are much easier to fight on horseback. Well, okay. Dodge that. The spinny wheel ones are a bit are a bit rougher, I will say. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. See, look at that look at the damage we just took from like. Yeah, do it. Kill it now. Thank you. All right. Jesus Christ, another one already. All right, well, let's fight it. Okay, get him. Down he goes. Volcanic rock. Volcanic stone, I should say. And, uh, what looks like a... Gilligan, please. Stop this nonsense at once. Oh my god. They wouldn't. Alright, well, fuck it. What else are we gonna do? Um... Yeah, I'll be back with you next episode. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, God. Is this one longer than the Prince of Death ladder? Are we going to find the Prince of Death at the top of this ladder? Does the Prince of Death like ladders? Is the fact that he's in Stormvale completely irrelevant, and it's instead relevant that he's near a ladder, because... Is the Prince of Death the reincarnation of Laddersmith Gilligan? Hot take. Big brain theories going on here. Put on those tinfoil hats. We'll be up there eventually. Ah! We've done it! Huh. That's a workout. Let me tell ya. Okay. Uh, wait. No. Hello. Die. Landell Soldier Greaves. Can we uh, get some lore on these guys? I mean, it's probably not much lore to be said, considering it's just the, the basic kind of copy-pasted 
Yeah, Greaves worn by soldiers sworn to defend the royal capital. Okay, great. That doesn't tell us very much, now does it? Alright. Um, we got a sarcophagus area, that's cool. Let's grab some runes. So I think we'll actually be able to level up if we use some of our runes. Depending on how many we have. Question is... What is that fucking noise? You hear that? No, okay. <laughs> it's the runes. <laughs> It's the runes going into my inventory. Jesus Christ. What, what are you? You're a... You're a wolf? Are you a hostile wolf? You're a wolf sitting next to a dead guy. Interesting. Very sorry. Big you drop. Swamper Smithing Stone 6. And at the Erd Tree. Very cool. I really like this area, by the way. Lane De Or, not Lane Del, uh Mount Gelmir. It's, it's very cool. I wonder. Are we close enough? I think we are. Let's get one more faith. Mostly just so that we're not sitting on this many runes if we encounter something that we don't want to have to deal with. Delicious. I love the smell of runes in the morning. Well, um... That'll get us 2,000? It's 20. I, I don't think we have quite enough, actually. Fuck, we don't. Unless I use all of these? Will this do it? We'll be close. Ugh. No! Well... Um... Where to? Did we descend? Where do we go up? I feel like there's more to check out down here, so let's actually descend the ladder. It's gonna be a long ladder slide, let me tell you. Let's go. Whee! Imagine, like, the hand burn from doing that, or all the splinters you get from going down this wooden ladder. That would be awful. Did the Iron Virgins respawn? I didn't rest. Never mind. Um, well, I guess we'll find out if they respawn later. Let's go this way first. There's still more. Throwing daggers. Or this uh, volcanic stone. I I'm guessing it's a respawning material, judging by how much of it there is. Hello! We didn't find you before. Oh, you're fighting people, huh? Oh, you're fighting against the Langdell soldiers. Makes sense. You guys are... Uh, Employed by the Volcano Manor, the the Praetor Rikerd, right? And they're they're fighting against the Erd Tree. And these are the soldiers, if we want to call them that, of Volcano Manor, which is very cool. Watch how good is Black Flame against you? Eh, it's okay, but I don't need to get close to you at least. And it's fairly cheap to use, so there we go. That should do it. We'll uh, we'll rest at our next site of grace that we find. I'm not going to go back up there. Lots of little items here, some blood rose. Uh, hi, who are you guys? Not oh, more Lane Dell soldiers. Okay, great sword, huh? Well, regrettably, your time has come. Wow, get some uh, dead pals over there. They're way down. What was that? Volcano stone. Not what I need. At least not what I need more of. Uh, doesn't really look like there's a way down. At least not a safe one. Fuck. Don't tell me. No. Not doing it. Find another way up. Or we won't at all. See, there's another way out. Cool. 
no real reason to come up here. Aside from the slaughter of some hapless soldiers. Interesting. No smoldering butterflies. Hey! Side of grace already. Okay, I'll take it. That, that freaked me out. The trees moving. Okay! Is that enough to level up? Hopefully it is. Yes. We have a lot of faith. Cross this fucking bridge. Oh, damn. Oh. There are ways to get down. Oh, I'm not sure where. What the fuck are you guys looking at? Dudes? Yeah, you're a sorcerer. What's the light? Why is there a light shining on me? It's... There's a light following me. What? Is it the Erd Tree? Or is it just this weather event? creeped out, but hey, we're back on, uh, this is starting to look a bit more, yeah, this is Altus again. Yep, yeah, we're starting to find Altus reagents. Eh, you can live. Yes. God, this place is cool. We're getting real close. Sup? up? Pumpkin head. Come on, then. Okay, can we not lock on to, like, the birds off in the distance? Games lock on sometimes. Really, uh... Okay. Interesting that we find these up here, too. They just seem to be associated with all of the uh, militaries in general. Like, not really linked with anyone. Where's the way down into that gap? So I feel like we're definitely missing some stuff. Aha, I see. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I certainly did. I see the way down. Hey. Neutrinos, lilies. Um, I'll tell you what. We can actually just walk down this way first. A whole lot of these guys here. And then we just drop down here. I'm probably missing a ton of stuff. Like, I... Oh, we're not even on the map anymore. But hey, we have ourselves another uh, duel for the Volcano Manor. Where, though? Down there? Bye! Okay. So this is how we drop down even farther, but where where is this duel? Not this way. It's, it's that way. Right? Yeah. So it's gonna be in here somewhere, but the question is, can I drop... Yeah, I'm sure I can drop down into here. Without dying. Uh, well, in any case, I can drop here without dying. Um... Yeah, let's end the episode with this duel. There he is. Cool dueling arena. Very cool. Alright. Anything else around? Just make sure I'm not gonna get, like, ambushed by anything while I'm trying to duel a dude. 
Who are you? Who must I fight? Riley the Idol. I don't know who Riley the Idol is, but... You sound complacent. Where are you at? There you are. You do some damage. Let's heal. You wanna you wanna fight? You have a you're doing Scarlet Rot, which is intimidating. But uh, regrettably for you, oh you healed, you little bastard. You have the Confessor set, by the way. And you're dead. My apologies for the murder. Get ourselves a rune arc and a furl collar finger remedy once again, and then once we get back to our world, I guess we uh, get the items from him. Are we gonna finally get the confessor set? No, we get Threepus's vial and more black key bolts. He was indeed using the black key crossbow. I wonder if that's gonna tell us anything about him. We have that. Crepus's black key crossbow. Black crossbow featuring a long stock used for sniping. It has a very long range. Weapon of Crepus, who serve the two fingers from the shadows of Round Table as head confessor. Okay, well, makes sense. You are, uh, that person was dressed as a confessor, so the confessors are associated with the two fingers. Um, now, we got Crepus's uh, talisman, or whatever the hell it was called. Looked funny. Here we go. Crepus's vial. Thing. Small mysterious bottle with a dark mist sealed within it eliminates all sound made by water or made by wearer during movement. A ritual implement used by round table hold assassins. There was a time when tarnished who had strayed from guidance feared nothing more than utter silence. Cool. Got like a stealth ability. There's a couple of stealth talismans, so you can really do like an assassin build. I don't know how effective it'll be, but uh, go grab that. That's a troll. All right. Very cool. And we got ourselves a dungeon here. All right, I'm doing that next time. This is where I'm gonna end today's episode. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Do leave it a like if you did. Uh, it's been very interesting exploring Mount Gelmir and now getting back into the Altus Plateau region. And um, I will catch you all in the next one. Ash Heritor out.